No, that's okay. <laughs> I'm Joe Cardello. I'm Marie Cardello, and we the parents of Killen Cardello. I try to make as many visits as I can. You know, it, it, there are definitely long spurts where I don't see them um, because I'm just busy or you know busy with school or gigs or whatever. But I do make it a point to see to see them because they are a very important part of my life, clearly, and have shown me a lot of love and care. So, you know, I, I do like to see them at least once every few weeks, if I can. Yeah, I mean, we're extremely proud of him. I mean, it's just, uh, just amazing, amazing. I mean, he's been working really hard too, and this is like, I can't wait tonight to see his final recital. And I think we, <laughs> we're really excited. Because he's been playing the recital for all his friends, because he's the piano guy, right? But tonight, this is like, well, Really it's not nice, right. really the beginning. Right. <laughs> And I've been thinking about my senior recital since last summer. And so I'm happy to say, yeah, I, ha I have uh, Ben Feldman and Kofi Shepsu, who are my rhythm section players. Um, and I have all, all personal friends in, in, in the big bands. We were playing a couple of big band pieces at the end of the recital. I have a friend of mine, dear friend, who's coming to, to sing a couple pieces. And, but yeah, ev everyone who's playing with me tonight, I've known Maybe not for years, but I've spent a lot of time with them at some point and I've gotten to know them, you know, so and I have a special connection with them in each, with each of them in, in you know, our old way. So. Oh man, um, nervous and excited and definitely anxious, but I think it, all, all of my emotions are coming from a positive space. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling I'm, I'm definitely excited. <laughs> Thank you.
Hello, and welcome to the 2023 American Pianist Awards. I'm Ann Merkel, Senior Vice President and Chief Market Development Officer at the National Bank of Indianapolis. As our city's largest locally owned national bank, we believe in supporting the organizations that improve the quality of life for all who call Central Indiana home. So our longtime partnership with the American Pianists Awards is a natural one. In fact, it's been our pleasure to support the American Pianist Association and its mission for over 20 years now. This year, the National Bank of Indianapolis is very pleased to return as the presenting sponsor of the Premier Series. The Premier Series encompasses the first live adjudicated performances of the five finalists in the jazz competition. In April, Indianapolis will again welcome all of the finalists for Discovery Week, when the awards will be announced along with the Cole Porter Fellowship in Jazz. Tonight, you'll experience one of the five brilliant finalists performing both solo and trio pieces. On behalf of my colleagues at the National Bank of Indianapolis, thank you for viewing tonight's live stream. We hope you enjoy the performance. Oh, good evening and welcome. Welcome to the world famous Jazz Kitchen Restaurant Lounge, Indianapolis, Indiana. How's everyone doing this evening? We are so pleased and delighted to have you here with us this evening. First of all, let's give a great round of applause for this wonderful server and bartender staff we have here. Also, special thanks goes out to our house sound engineer for the evening. He's right back here in the sound booth. Let's say hello to Mr. Mike Alperin. Yeah. Here we are, we in the month of January, a brand new year. We just rolled over into 29 years here at the Jazz Kitchen, 29 years. Yeah. 
And for 20 years, we've been in partnership with the American Pianist Association. And it has been a wonderful, wonderful, fruitful relationship. So give the American Pianist Association a great round of applause. Uh, coming up here to Jazz Kitchen, we got some outstanding, amazing uh, music coming here. Coming up February the 3rd, Sean Dobbins will be appearing here uh, for two shows. And then uh, coming up on uh, February the 10th, great trumpeter, Mr. John Raymond and his uh, group will be here. Also coming up February 19th, uh, the great Jeff Cawthon will be appearing here. Coming up March the 10th, uh, one of my favorites and one of your favorites will be appearing here. Uh, March 10th, another than Emmett Cohen and his trio will be here. American Pianist Association winner will be here. So we definitely want to see you out for that. Uh, also, uh, always purchase your tickets online here at the Jazz Kitchen so we can accommodate you much, much easier. Always visit our website. We'll post the special events and concerts that we want you to take advantage of. It's required here this evening. It's your audience participation. Make sure we subdue your conversations to a minimum. Uh, before the band gets started, I'm going to introduce this gentleman. He has a keen eye for talent. Uh, he is a senior artistic director of the American Pianist Association. Let's give a great round of applause for my great friend, Mr. Joel Harrison. Thank you, Frank. And thank you all for coming out tonight. Uh, I say this all the time, but you really do have such an important role to play at American Pianist Association and for our uh, American Pianist Awards. Your very presence provides so much support for these pianists. As a former pianist, <laughs> uh, it, you know, it's just wonderful to come out on stage and hear the applause and the warmth that comes. That is so encouraging, especially to these young artists. So thank you for doing that. Keep doing that and do it more and more and more. <laughs> and you'll get better and better and better response from the artist. So thank you so much. Um, also want to remind you, uh, this is the biggest jazz competition in the world, right here at the Jazz Kitchen in Indianapolis in your backyard. The biggest prize in the world. The winner of the competition will be named the Cole Porter Fellow in Jazz, the American Pianist Association, and win a prize valued at over $200,000 including cash, a recording contract, public relations, uh, engagements around the world for two years, and the winner will be named Artist in Residence at the University of Indianapolis for two years. It's huge, huge career assistance coming from Indianapolis. Thank you, thank you so much for making that happen. <laughs> One of the reasons it can happen is because we have this great pool of generous donors and corporate sponsors. Uh, Mike Wells and his company, REI Real Estate Investment Services, has been the title sponsor of the jazz uh, competition for quite a long time. It's really important to have that. That means years in advance of planning, we know we can go ahead and do this competition. So thank you, Mike. He was here at the first set. Um, the other is our local wonderful bank, uh, the National Bank of Indianapolis has been a sponsor of American Pianist Association as long as I've been here. I've been here 23 years. They were the sponsor of the uh, classic comp competition the first year I came. They continue to support us, and they're supporting this series, the premier series, five times by which we do this. Um, we do have a representative from the bank with us, Andy Newell. Thank you so much, Andy, for all you're doing. A uh, little known facts. Andy was my first artistic assistant at the American Pianist Association when he was a kid. I just love it when people grow up and become supporters and corporate supporters and philanthropists. So <laughs> thank you so much, Andy. In your program tonight, you will see that we have one more of these premiere series, uh, the end of February. Um, hope you have tickets, and we'll come back uh, to hear that one. Um, then. All this sort of picks up steam uh, the third week of April. We have the full outline of those events in your program. Please check that. It begins on a Thursday at noon, the free concert featuring all of the finalists at Christchurch Cathedral downtown on Monument Circle. Fabulous space. 
fabulous, fabulous nine foot Steinway grand piano, which I went to New York and chose. <laughs> I'm looking at certain people. Uh, then on that Friday night, two sets at the Cabaret. Marvelous, gorgeous space. Those tickets are going in a hurry. <laughs> in fact, the, the first set is all but sold out. So please go online and get your tickets for that. And then the Gala Finals that Saturday night at Hilbert Circle Theater featuring Cecile McLaurin Salvant, arguably the reigning female jazz singer in the world today. Look forward to having her back. She's a friend of mine and a friend of APA. Uh, and then each of our finalists doing um, a special commissioned work with the Buseli Walarab Jazz Orchestra. Then the great announcement about who's going to win. Um, anyway, lots of stuff coming up. Please, please get your tickets as soon as you can. Thank you again for coming out tonight. It's my pleasure to introduce to, oh, one more thing. Um, Kaylin's parents are here. They came in from uh, New Jersey and they've moved. There they are, so thank you so much. You are winners as well <laughs> to produce the artist you've done, so thank you so, so very much. Um, please welcome finalists for the American Pianists Association Jazz Awards, Kaylin Cardello. Kaylin.
Thank you very much. That's Kenny Phelps on the drums. And Nick Tucker on the bass. Yours truly, Kaylin Cardello. Thank you guys so much. And welcome to the late set. You know, is yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's funny in um, in New York, the late set could mean many things. It could mean right, right. It could mean two o'clock. It could mean ten thirty. It could mean twelve. You know, so. But uh, we love a good nine o'clock late night set. <laughs> really. Um, but uh, we started off the set with um, a piece by the late great Harold Mayburn, who I was. So fortunate to study with in the last year of his life. Um, I graduated from William Patterson University, and that's where he taught. And he was just a wealth of knowledge and a beautiful human. And, and I'm so honored that I got to study with him. And he wanted to you know, carry the legacy of jazz and jazz education. And, and I thoroughly miss him, and I appreciate him for that. And I was actually with him on the day that he passed away. Um, I was his second to last lesson. So yeah, it was. Really, really special, special time being with him. And so, and he always wrote music for his loved ones, his family, and um, friends. And so that one, like I said, was called Edward Lee. It was written for the trumpet player Lee Morgan, who he was really close with. Um, and uh, we followed that with a piece entitled Long Before that was written by uh, guitarist Pat Metheny and pianist Brad Meldow, um, who, whom both are very big inspirations to me. And uh, we're going to continue now with a piece by a pianist who is another huge inspiration to me, um, more so in the last, I would say, probably four years, pretty much throughout college, um, not only because I got to study with some people who, he pl who played with him, um, but I was just exposed to so much of his music, and that is the late, great Cedar Walton. Um, and so we're going to play a piece by him that's going to feature Kenny, and uh, it's me as well. <laughs> and this is called Groundwork. I hope you guys enjoy. <laughs>
Kenny Phelps on the drums.
Thank you very much. That was Prelude to a Kiss by the wonderful Duke Ellington, the master, the giant. We are going to continue with an original. And this song, is, this is actually the debut of this song. So kudos to these guys for learning this without a recording. You know, we got it together in the rehearsal. I'm very happy the way it's sounding, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, this, was, this is a song I wrote for my dad. Um, not only has he been a huge inspiration in my life in music, um, but he has developed a few hobbies um, since COVID, one of them being fishing. And he's tried many, many times to get me out with him, but I can't wake up at 4 a.m. I don't know about you guys, but <laughs> we've gone a couple times. So, but uh, you know, mom, every time I call, you know, my mom's always like, oh, he's gone fishing. So this tune is called Gone Fishing. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy.
Thank you. Nick Tucker on the bass. Yeah. That was an original of mine called Summer Song. Um, I miss summer, I won't lie. And although the weather was really beautiful today. Yeah. Yes. Hoorah for that. And, and it's funny because it's, we haven't seen any snow in New York, and we haven't, like, it's been, you know, kind of scary temperatures. Um, and so I got here, and it was, like, 20 degrees, and I was like, oh, wow. It, like, um, so this, the, the, today was, was very relieving, to, you know, and I heard you guys don't get a lot of snow in Indy, so. <laughs> but, um, you know, uh, we're going to continue with a song by uh, a current mentor of mine. Uh, he's an amazing pianist, one of the best in the world. His name is Dave Kakowski, And this is his tune called Pythagoras. And um, before we play, I would like to thank APA from the bottom of my heart for having me here. Round of applause for <laughs> APA. I would like to thank Christian and Elaine Wolf for hosting me in their house. And you know, I can't not mention Bonnie, even though she's not here. Their dog, Bonnie, sleeps with me. Apparently, I, I took her room. But uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a huge, huge animal. Dogs, cats, parrots, if you will, you know, whatever your, whatever your preference is. I, I love all of them. So it's a huge treat to be able to... to to sleep with a dog and I have that comfort. So, <laughs> one for Bonnie. <laughs> but thanks also for the Jazz Kitchen um, for hosting this. And yeah. yeah. And of course, these amazing musicians who I get to play with, Kenny Phelps and Nick Tucker, please give it up for them. Here's Pythagoras by Dave Kukowski.
Give it up for Kenny Phelps on the drums. Nick Tucker on the bass. Yours truly, Kaylin Cardello, thank you. It was an honor to play here, to play for you, such a lively audience. Thank you guys so much. Just keep on swinging, peace and love, and have a great night. Ladies and gentlemen, Kaylin Cardello.